Good morning, my friends, or might be afternoon or evening. Whatever time you're listening to The Morning Mindset, I thank you for joining me, and I want to thank you sincerely for being intentional, for doing something on purpose to help yourself align your mind with God's truth. That is our responsibility as believers in Christ, is to align ourselves with Him. And it requires humility to do that, doesn't it? We have to admit to ourselves, I need help. I need the help of my God. I need him to teach me. I need him to guide me in the areas where I don't know what I should be doing or how I should be living. And I think if we're all humble enough, we'll admit that's in almost everything we do in life. I mean, of course, we grow and we learn as we go through life and we get a certain level of competence about certain things. But even in our competence, We need to remain humble because in that area, we still don't know it all, do we? We need the ongoing help and presence of our Savior to help us. We've been looking at the book Humility by Andrew Murray, and he's been helping us to think through how important this chief characteristic of humility is in the life of believers like ourselves. And he says, let us begin to ask, what would be the effect if in ourselves and around us, if toward fellow saints and the rest of the world, we were really permanently guided by the humility of Jesus? What would happen if we cried with our whole heart night and day, oh, for the humility of Jesus in myself and all around me? Let us fix our hearts on our own lack of humility, which has been revealed in the likeness of Jesus' life and in the whole character of his redemption. And then we will begin to feel as if we'd never yet really known what Christ and his salvation is. Boy, that's a mouthful. But what I hear Andrew saying is that when we just stop long enough to recognize how much we need our Savior, how lacking in humility we have been in our lives. We come to a place of helplessness where we call out to him for help. And my friends, I believe our lesson from this is that we need to study the life of Jesus. We need to look at him to see what humility really looks like and how it plays itself out in a life. Because Jesus did it perfectly. Amen. We can all agree to that. He lived a perfect life for the sake of demonstrating what that life looks like. I don't know about you, but when I'm doing something new or I'm I'm trying to uh, maybe build something in the garage, it is helpful to me to have a model, to have a, a finished product to look at. So I know if I'm following along as I should and getting to that goal that I have in mind. And I see Jesus serving for us in that way. Man, there's another way in which he has served us. He has served us by demonstrating the Christian life to us. He walked by the power of the Spirit. He lived in obedience to God. He humbled himself to the leadership of the Father and followed the guidance of the Spirit as he lived his life. What better model could we have? The next chapter of Andrew's book is called Humility in the Life of Jesus. And what he's going to do is walk through some of the accounts we have from the scriptures of how Jesus lived his life. And we're going to see that Jesus serves as a perfect model. And the better we understand his life of humility and what that life produced, the better we're able to see what our lives are to look like as we grow in this aspect of humility. My friends, I want to say a prayer for you today. No matter that I'm recording this a little bit ahead of time, I believe God hears this prayer and will it apply it to you the moment you hear it and the moment you're conceiving of these ideas we thought about today. My Jesus, I pray that you would give my brothers and my sisters who are listening the humility of Christ today, that you would empower them with his spirit of humility, and that through that humility, you would serve the world around them so that they can see the serving Savior who loves them. Give them victory today. In your name, amen. Join me tomorrow for The Morning Mindset.